Hey everybody, so I'm here live on Facebook. I've been reading all the questions that you've submitted about Ancient Mama and I'm here to answer a bunch of them. Okay, let's get started. Okay, how did you create the concept for this video and playing women from different decades to tell the story? Um, you know, I was just thinking what would be the best way to kind of get the message of the song across and I was thinking about women throughout the years and how we have always been wanted to be treated in an equal way and not be taken for granted whether it's in relationships or in the workplace or whatever and then I, I just thought you know what how about we show the progression of women and how we've grown but also how things are kind of the same and so I thought okay we'll go from the 50s to the 60s and 70s to the 80s to present day and how today we're standing up for everything that we really truly deserve great uh, the fashion, hair, makeup is unbelievable in the video. How did you and your team come up with all these looks? What was easy? Once you say 50s and 60s and 70s, you know, you know what that is. We, can, we kind of went for what was classic in those eras. Um, so for the 50s, we went for kind of the 50s housewife with a touch of the pinup from that era just to make it kind of video fun. Um, in the 60s, we went for kind of a madman mad men feel because people kind of know what that is. And, and, and at that point, women were kind of, you know, secretaries and kind of in the workplace, but kind of in a, in a lesser role. Then in the 70s, we really went for um, kind of that Norma Ray where she's starting to kind of gain her power. Um, she's really in the workforce. And so we went for that type of look. And then in the 80s, we went for kind of like that working girl where she's out there. She's now coming up with the ideas. They're listening to what she has to say, but they're really not ready to let her into the boardroom. So um, we went with that kind of classic Melanie Griffith kind of working girl idea, New York style, of course. Um, and then modern, you know, we just had fun. It was just like, what do we want to do? Rihanna had sent me these amazing boots. <laughs> and I was like, these have to be in the video. How are we going to get these in the video? And I've always, I always saw all the women kind of marching at the end um, in, in a group, you know, kind of starting this revolution. And I thought, okay, I, maybe I'll just wear them to dance. They're just, they're just amazing. So that's what we did. Were they difficult to dance in? They were hard to dance in. Everybody else was dancing, as you see, in kind of like combat boots and sneakers. Mm -hmm. And I walked out to the set and I was like, Nobody wearing heels but me? Okay. <laughs> so, and it was on the concrete, you know, outside. So it wasn't the easiest boot to ever dance in, but we pulled it off. Which character was your favorite to play in the video? Um, gosh, I think I had most fun with the 60s girl because she was kind of goofy and with her glasses behind her typewriter. And, you know, she got to kind of throw his vodka back in his face or whatever he was drinking. It was, it was a lot of fun. She was kind of, I don't know the most comical. I like I like doing comedy a lot, so uh, I got to use my, my little, my funniness in that. Everyone is asking, will you be adding Ain't Your Mama to your amazing Las Vegas show? Yeah, I hope so. You know, the more popular it gets, I, I would love to include it in the show. I mean, um, so you, you guys, by the way, you have to call your radio station and get those requests in. So they're playing it on the radio and um, they, they really need to hear from you on that type of stuff so let's get our radio questions to our local stations but yeah I would love to put it in the Vegas show I'm actually thinking about how I would actually do that it's not the easiest thing to just throw a song into the show although I've been known to do crazier things than that um, so yeah maybe this run we'll, we'll try and get it in there cool how have women reacted to this video you know the outpouring for the song has just been crazy I mean it's really you know, moving to me and touching to me because, you know, it's a fun song, it's fun, but it's also very empowering. And to have people like Rihanna, Hillary Clinton, um, uh, gosh. Uh, Gigi. Gigi, who was amazing singing the song with her little doggy face, <laughs> um, but also Patricia Arquette, uh, Megan Trainer, you know, that people really got the essence of what this song was, which is a really empowering song about not being invisible, not being ignored, not being taken for granted anywhere at any time, that we have so much to offer that, uh, and, and that we really know now what we deserve. And I think that's the most important thing about the song. It's, it's, it's not about hating anyone. It's not about man hating. It's not about that. We love you. We just want you to see us for all that we are and never take us for granted. And I think that's what 
it, it was really about for me. Um, and I just wanted to get that across. And everybody on the video, all the girls got so into the kind of like, I'm too good for that, I'm too good for that, just remember that, you know, because it's just that part of the song is really about what, what, it, what the essence is. Can we expect to hear more music from you, maybe a Spanish album? Yeah, I mean, I'm always working on music. Um, and now with this single, who knows, we might have a follow-up single very soon. Um, also, I'm working on Spanish music, uh, a very special project that I don't want to talk too much about yet, but it's going to involve a lot of amazing people. So uh, I'm super excited about that. That'll be coming definitely within the year. Well, and with all this going on, what do you have, what do you have planned for this summer? Well, this summer, you know, I've actually been on a tiny little vacation, if anybody's seen. I was just like one day on the beach. That was a big deal for me. Um, paparazzi didn't make it easy. They were really stupid. But other than that, it was kind of fun. I had two days off. So now in the summer, I will actually be going back to work. Uh, we're going to do the second season of Shades of Blue. We got picked up for a second season, so we're going to do that. Really exciting to see where Harley and Waz and all those characters go this season. Loman, we have an amazing cast, so that'll be a lot of fun shooting that in New York this summer. And then um, also Vegas. Going back to Vegas, we'll be there in May, June. I'll be there in July and August as well, and then again uh, in December. So all through while we're shooting Shades, we'll be doing that. Well, you're busy. We're busy. We're busy. Look, busy's good. Nobody's complaining about busy. Well, I think that's all the time we have. Okay. That's it? That's it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.